Now here's a tractor with a name I really like. Introducing the Russell. This is a 1919 Russell. 1224 horsepower, 24 on the belt. And with a name like Russell, this has to be a good tractor, right? Well, anyway, this marvelous machine has been a prized possession for the Linker family of Illinois for a good long time now. Yeah, my grandfather found it, uh, I guess you could say, on a sale and knew that uh, it was something that was very rare. But back in the, the days when they found it, uh, the money was a little bit short, so a buddy of his purchased it told him, you know, when the crop come in that fall that he would be back to get the tractor and then the fall of 69 uh, he purchased the tractor back and started restoring it the first time. It was in terrible shape. There was no fenders, no tin work, no radiator, no shell, motor was stuck. Though restoring the tractor was a lot of work, it was worth it. Turns out Joyce's dad really knew what he was doing when he bought this Model B. This Russell is about as rare as they come. Well, this tractor is very rare. It's the only one in existence. Uh, nobody knows of another one. That's why you don't see many of these tractors, because there is not another one that we've been aware of. Uh, my grandfather traveled the tractor circuit and the threshing and the uh, deals out west and you know he's been all over the country and never another one. Oh, it's rare different yeah everybody says this is different and it does draw a lot of um, attention because it's rare the tractor was built by the russell company of massillon ohio russell started building steam tractor engines in the 1880s and started with gasoline powered farm tractors in about 1915. the linkers model b was barely used back in the day it seems it was originally sold to a farmer in illinois and well joyce knows the story well it used to be that farmers all got together and helped each other and he got, this fella got in a fight with all of them and he said, I'm gonna go to town and I'm gonna buy my own tractor, I'll do my own work. So he went to Peoria uh, and bought this Russell, drove it all the way home from Peoria to Canton and it wouldn't do what he wanted and he parked it and never used it again. They never took his name where he bought it and he never paid a nickel for it. That's the history. <laughs> That's the history of poor tractor and that's why it ended up in the junkyard. It wouldn't do what he wanted and he parked it. The Russell Model B weighs about 4,800 pounds and it offered farmers 12 horsepower at the draw bar provided by a four-cylinder Waukesha engine. It's definitely a 1919 Waukesha motor. Uh, we got the paperwork on it, when it was shipped and who it was shipped to. The Russell Tractor Company bought so few of motors that this motor was actually sold in a category with the Huber tractor motors. The front wheels on this uh, originally came with a, a steel rail lug on the front. It had regular uh, spikes on the rear of it, but the front rims came with rails on them for, to turn them. It was like a piece of angle iron which was bolted on. It was very primitive, very primitive. The Russell Model B did have a covered engine and fenders, but a very tight space for the driver. And with its chain steering, the tractor was not very nimble when it came to making turns. No, it's not really very maneuverable very quick. It's very, very tight. That's one thing I'm sure back in the day farmers probably didn't care for. It was so small, it's so tight that, you know, with the chain steering, you turn it uh, you know, quite a ways before you get much reaction out of it. Though it was not a hit back in 1919, at more than 95 years of age, the Russell tractor is still running strong and gets a lot of attention at tractor shows. Folks are always interested in those unique boss decals. Yeah, that's just original sticker of the Russell company. They started out putting that sticker on the steam engines and they been with it ever since, all till the equipment build with them. This decal is a replica of an original. Uh, we had the only one left in the country that we knew of, and with the help of uh, John Morley and Tracy Montgomery, we were able to get the very last one stuck to a piece of metal and scanned to where we could do something with the colors and recreate the proper uh, lettering, the angles, the parentheses, uh, the patent numbers. I mean, it was 
all reproduced. It was quite a job. It's the boss stands for the bull. The bull was always the boss. And for the Linker family, keeping the Russell going is a fun and important way of preserving history and a family tradition passed down from generation to generation. It's really exciting. I mean, you know, it's like the classic tractor fever. I mean, you get it and it's, it makes a person proud to, you know, that you can do it and your stories behind your tractors and the history of the tractors uh, can make, you know, the whole family and anybody that has anything to do with it or sees it proud of it. Because it's a, it's a piece of American heritage that, you know, there is no more of. It's, it's it. My dad left me something pretty special. He was a special guy. He was. My dad and, and I, I guess, have always been connected with this. It's something that dad and I both had a love for. I picked it up from my dad and my grandfather. Grandpa left it to my mom. And from then on, why it's been dad helping me to learn and to know how and what to do. And, you know, thank the Lord I was able to do it and see, see them happy over it. Hope my grandpa's happy. Yes, sir. The old Russell makes everybody happy, even if it is a little old and a little cranky and hard to work with. Hey, now, we're still talking about the tractor, right? That doesn't sound like any Russell I know. Well, anyway, this is Dave Russell, and with one very well-named tractor that deserves to be saluted by all those with classic tractor feet.